Hello everyone, my name is Oscar, and in this video I will be showing you how to apply nonlinear distributed loads in SkyCFS 3D. Okay, in previous versions it was only possible to apply distributed loads with a linear variation. Now it's possible to add distributed loads defined by a function of the position along the member. First we need to go to distributed loads. And then click the button here that says add nonlinear or equation based distributed loads. The other option to get to this menu is to go to Edit, Loads, and Nonlinear Distributed Loads. In this menu that we need to input first are the member IDs. We can input them separated by commas, for example, in this case, member one and member two, or we can also select them before opening the menu. And once we open the menu, the IDs will automatically be populated here. Then we need to input the load function that is defining the distributed load. In this case, I will copy this example here. Then we need to say how many loads are we going to use to approximate this function. So if I go for 20, it will look smoother, but it's going to use more loads to approximate the function. In this case, I will use 10, which is a very good approximation. Then we need to decide in which direction we want the load to be applied. It can be in the global axis or in the local axis. In this case, since I want it to be vertical, I will, I will go for the uh, global y axis. Finally, we need to input the load group. Uh, we can select one from the drop down or leave it as default or input a custom one. In this case, I will say uh, only load and apply, and we can see that the loads were correctly applied here. That's how you can apply nonlinear distributed loads in SkyCFS 3D. I hope you enjoy it.